you know, I have an interesting relationship with the actors in the sense that I ideally would like to hire actors and bring them in and say like, okay, I totally got this figured out, guys. This is just what you hear. Here's your piece of paper. Go do X, Y, and Z. And that's just not the case in this game because we're doing something that we don't haven't really done before. So when we start sessions with them, I basically have a bunch of writing I've done and a, a bunch of sort of scenes we want to do. And sometimes those scenes end up, um, they're very prototypical of what we're actually going to end up with. And I basically try to be very honest with them and say, look, I don't really exactly know how we're going to get there. And we just sort of sit around and talk about it. And um, we record a lot of stuff. We keep the, you know, the recordings going. We keep the camera going. Um, the camera's on Courtney's face so we can get um, emotional reference from her face as well as her, as her voice. Elizabeth. Promise me. I will stop him. No. That is an oath you cannot keep. But promise me that if it comes to it, you will not let him take me back. It won't come to that. All right? The benefits of working with a voice actor directly is, you know, that sort of interactive process. Um, there's a sequence where Troy's waiting for Courtney to get a certain performance of a moment we needed. And that wasn't just Troy being an asshole. That was, you know, me asking Troy to help get Courtney to an emotional place. <clears throat> Whenever you're ready. Mm. So you, do you need something to build to it? I'm thinking, I'm not just ignoring it. help if he, ber <laughs> if he berated you a bit? A what? If he berated you a bit? Mm -hmm. Berated you? Mm. Yeah, sure. What, you know, like, what were you doing? What were you thinking? Uh, you never gonna work. Moron. You're gonna get us fucking killed. I like that. Keep going. Yeah, uh, Troy, don't be afraid of it. No, 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 I'm not. Really I'm go not. into her. Yeah, yeah. You, no, I just didn't want you to stop. Fucking it. child! Shut up! You know, it's Glenn Gary oh. Glenn Ross beating up. <laughs> it makes me so uncomfortable. Keep going. I don't care if you're uncomfortable or not. Pull it the fuck together. You've either got this or you don't. The fuck were you thinking? <laughs> Keep at her, Troy. Keep at her. No, she's got it. She just needs to fucking focus. <laughs> Don't fucking laugh! Okay, you were right. I can't control it. It's... it's not possible. With what I've seen lately, I wouldn't put a nickel on what's possible. Now, come on. I think it's time we found Comstock, okay? Can we do it once more? Yeah, that's okay. good. That's good. Well, you yell, you fucking psychopath. Can you scream at me a little more? <laughs> and then be nice. You know, to say, well, what's it like working with Kim Levine? And I always answer with, I, I don't know. I'll let you know. Because so far, we're not working. We're just, we're playing. We're having fun. We're in a sandbox, you know? It's not work. It, it can be exhausting, but so can, you know, riding roller coasters all day. I kind of... <laughs> Can we just try it? I know you don't want to. Ben, I want to see if you do it. Oh, great. No pressure. Nope. I think that, you know, we sort of have a couple of rounds of, of, of a few rounds of, of experiments, and now we're sure, starting to understand our process a lot better, and that will help move the process along more quickly, and then we'll find, you know, new challenges we'll take on, and, that, and, and we'll get stuck again, and we'll just have to figure those out.